is the energy vibration reading for um, the full moon for the month of October for you water people hey you water people hey you Pisces cancer and scorpions how are you okay the month of October um, it is a good month for you guys especially for you scorpion um, and um, with the energy of the moon let's see what is going to be happening for you scorpion in this um, month of October I want to say thank you I love you water sign so much thank you so much for the positive energy vibration thank you for the wonderful situations um, and uh, energies that you've brought in my life you water people um, it's good it's positive um, we're going to be aligning ourselves and we're going to be seeing what is happening um, please remember that the extended reading of this is on Vimeo oh sorry not Vimeo <laughs> on demand okay so um, for um, the extended reading of this video it's on on the month okay so remember that this is also the month of a water month okay and um, you have to align yourself with the energies and after the full moon because the, the with the full moon there's always um, with the full moon there is always um, what changes that comes in after the full moon so this is very important for you guys to understand what is transpiring who you're going to be working with who is going to be coming in to help you and this is going to be um, wonderful again please like and share these videos because these are very important we're trying to align the energies um, there is so much to do because there is so much um, energies that is coming out I need to do uh, also the full moon reading for the year 2019 to see what is going to be aligning um, each and every person in the year 2019 um, for all the full moons that are coming in so look out for that one it's going to be another um, long reading um, I'm giving more information because um, um, of the energy that is changing on the planet so align yourself with that please remember to cross read so um, try and find out what's in your birth chart and then you can cross read for the rest of the zodiac okay so you guys are the water sign you're the Pisces the cancer and the scorpion we're going to be start looking at the Sun energy what is coming up for the people who were born um, between the hours of uh, um, 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. so 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. and um, for the moon people who were born after 6 till 12 uh, 12 midnight okay so um, let's basically um, join ourselves to see um, what is transpiring for the water zodiac people for the month of October. Water zodiac people, month of October. Water zodiac people, month of October. Okay. Alrighty, you guys have the outcomes of this scorpion so you scorpions are going to be affected by this new full moon okay so what is going to be happening what is going to be transpiring is that you scorpions are going to be feeling um both the moon energies and the sun energy the sun rising energy and the moon energies so you scorpion are going to be feeling it from both sides so whatever the moon energies is coming out where the 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 um the sun energies are coming out with whether you were born in the day or whether you were born after 6 p.m. you're both going to be feeling it so this is a month where you scorpions whatever is happening for the sun sign and the moon sign you're both going to be feeling this so wow let's go and align ourselves and see what is happening for you I'm always starting with the Sun sign which is uh, um, you see solo that means it's Sun it's Italian okay so yeah these are Italian cards solo and Luna Luna is the moon and solo is the Sun okay let's see for the people who were born 12 a.m. till 6 p.m. what is going to be happening is that you're going to be um, aligning with the Aquarians the Aquarians and the Aries are coming in 
okay and if you go back and listen to the fire signs you can see that you are basically connecting with them also so you sun sign people are going to be um, aligning with the Aquarians and the Aries and the planet of Neptune now this is good because you Pisces are governed or the planet of Neptune so you Pisces that are very psychic this is going to be a very good full moon for you guys because what is happening and what is transpiring is that the energy of Neptune is here working for you in a positive way because Neptune you're governed governed with the planet of Neptune and this is going to be good so what I always say is that um, whether you're psychic or not with these energies that is coming up but what it is basically doing is that it is generating a sort of an energy vibration that is going to align you um, in a wonderful um, ways because um, this is the planetary system aligning with you and when Neptune come up Neptune rules the Pisces okay so um, you Pisces are going to be affected um, um, and whatever is happening with you it is going to be um, if you have a situation with an Aries an Aquarius or a, um, a scorpion um, it's going to be so strong okay whatever the situation is it's going to be so strong it's a time where you have to find um, inner strength to deal with it your psychic is going to be really on top because the planet of Neptune is coming in to help out you guys so your psychic is really going to be on that um, on top now Uranus is here and um, the Aquarians ha have the energy of the Uranus okay so for um, the cups people that is the people who were born five days before the changing of the sign into Pisces you you have to deal with the Aquarians so you basically carries the energy of the Aquarians um, energies and the Aries and this is profound because um, what is transpiring here is that um, you're going to be um, feeling this because um, thank God Pluto isn't here or else um, but the scorpions are here and the scorpions are going to be affecting you guys so um, it's, 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 it's really um, this full moon is going to be bringing out so much things um, it's really 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 going to be affecting you guys the energy of the Taurus is here so the Taurus um, the bull and the scorpion now this could be really a bullfight and trust me the bull can step on the scorpion and this is what the scorpion doesn't understand one thing but that's it but the bull is going to roll you over so for some of you um, um, the, the energy of uh, um, the Tauruses that are here they're going to be helping you guys out okay because they they are going to be standing as your guard they're going to be um, be your guardian angel they're going to be standing and bracing towards whatever that is coming at you they're going to be uh, protecting you and aligning you so that you can be aligned on a positive note and in a good good um, position because here we are we see we're seeing the energy of the Aquarius and the Aries um, that is coming up now one is um, water and the other one um, no one is fire and the other one is hair so you have all of these energies that is coming at you guys as uh, you guys that are fire sign that was born in the day so be aware of this because um, but the, the supporting energy that is here is the, is the energy of the Taurus so they are going to be coming to your guard they're going to be coming as um, the, to keep off uh, these energies these um, Aquarians and Aries that is coming at you now as we look at the lunar people and the lunar people the night people um, if you were born after 6 p.m. in the evening you are a lunar person okay so you have to do, deal with mercury mercury now mercury <laughs> the Leos and the librans okay LLL so M L L L <laughs> okay so um, um, the Mer <laughs> mercury is a planet of you learning to work your magic so another earth sign is here coming in for you lunar people unite people and that is the Virgos so 
mercury is teaching you to work with the unseen okay mercury is teaching you and 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 mercury governs the gemini and the virgos and this is good so um you guys are going to be affected by this and it's all about the unseen it's all about the mind the thought the body um mercury is the only planet that governs two energy and that is um, the Gemini's and uh, the Virgos and this is going to be good because um, th these energies these people are going to be coming in your life to assist you now the energy of the Leo and the Aries is all opposite each other and this is this is basically good because the fire sign people are going to be coming in and align you also and bring uh, um, changes and, and the fire sign people are in the middle that is balancing out um, situations because the Leos are really not bad people absolutely not I don't think anyone in the sign are bad people and and, and what is what is happening here is basically that um, the energy of the Leo what is going to be happening for you Leos um, that is the Leos that is coming in they're going to be kind of bringing balance between you and any legalities okay so the Leos are going to be coming in and kind of bring balance between you and any legalities it's as if they're bringing magic to your life via Mercury okay because Mercury is the planet of transforming something that was just very negative into something very positive and this is this is really really good okay so um, for and and and, and then the, the whoever you are with um, if you're with someone who is an air sign because the air sign comes up but they're opposite each other you have the Aquarians and you have the Librans but they're opposite each other so how they are going to be affecting you guys whether you're um, a Sun person or a moon person has to do with the conjunction of how you, the relationship or whatever the situation is that you're aligning with with these people but the Taurus is here the Taurus and the Scorpions are here so there is going to be a lot of situation with you Scorpions with the Tauruses okay and don't play um, Sneaky with the Taurus is you, um, Scorpion, because the Tauruses are people, and uh, their heart sign, and um, and not only that, their heart signs, but they're really, um, they're called, um, they are strong. They, they they will stand up to you. Okay, so I'm seeing the Scorpion and the Taurus being here to protect both of you. Um, a sun sign and moon sign but be aware and align with what is going on because um, this is going to be really a month of uh, um, um, rock and roll um, for you guys it's really going to be a month of rock and roll for you guys because you can see all the energies that is coming up here and with the Taurus and the scorpion oh my god this is earth and bringing um, balance to water it's going to teach the scorpions hey um, learn balance okay that is it so I want to say to you guys um, thank you so much and for the people who are going to be um, connecting uh, with us on on demand um, it is uh, um, this reading is really 50 minutes 40 to 50 minutes it depends um, what the information is coming out and as you um, follow us to on demand use the link on the this video and um, you're going to be receiving more information more situations that is going to be happening we're going to do the general love and that sort of a thing and you're going to be understanding what is about to come for you um, and this breeding is for the time of the 15th of the month to the 15th of the next month okay so this is wonderful and positive I'm wishing you guys a wonderful wonderful um, extremely I'm wishing you guys an extremely wonderful time because um, there is a lot of cleansing there's a lot